My name is Emily Patterson and I've been working with glass for eight years. My artwork starts by collecting. I think of myself as a collector first and an artist second. It stems back to when I was a little girl and I had a big box under my bed filled with my treasures. My studio is full of many of these objects, some of which are from my original childhood collection. I am most comfortable with a pencil in my hand. Sitting with a humble leaf and my pencil, the world falls away and I get lost in the tiny details of colour and texture, veins and insect bites. The artworks that I make are in response to my collection. I have a deep desire to preserve the objects that are ephemeral and commonplace. I need to preserve them for myself, but also to share their beauty with others. My methods of preservation often destroy the object. When I try to capture organic material in hot glass, it burns instantly. Though if you look close enough to the finished pieces, you can often see little bits of sticks and seeds still trapped inside the bubbles. I think this is a special quality in my work though, because all the objects I collect are fleeting. I like to explore life cycles and the poetry of nature decaying to give sustenance to new life. I use colour subtly in my work. I use only clear glass and the colours inside are added only through use of my collections. Colour is the first thing that you notice about my work and I use it as a way to draw my viewer in to notice the finer details of my collection. I hope my work will give people the opportunity to notice the detail that surrounds us. I hope to capture that sense of wonder we all experience in childhood when we get struck by the beauty of a coloured leaf. I want people to be encouraged to collect and display natural things of beauty around their homes. The seedlings pieces are what I hope will become personal collection vessels, where something like a humble blade of grass is enjoyed as something beautiful and precious. My name is Harriet Schwartzrock. I'm an artist who works predominantly with glass. Recently, I've been making text-based work where I've been choosing words that I enjoy the cadence of them and also the structure of how they might appear when I build them out of loose fronds of glass and compose them into form. I choose words that are about the body or about stillness and it's a fantastic, I guess, um, interplay of that idea of movement and stillness. As a child, I remember trying to be really still incredibly still holding my breath and realizing that even in being that still I could hear my heartbeat. So this recurrent theme is something that I guess it changes focus what I look at when I use the form of the heart. Sometimes it's fluidity, sometimes it's interconnectivity and most recently, in working with NEON, it's been looking at the electrical impulses within the body. I'm interested in that energy and at an invisible level, the way that energy is, I guess, used and transported throughout our body. Mm -hmm.